Hey there, students. Are you ready to get started? Well, you know, I really enjoy this class, Elements of Intercultural Communication. It's learning various ways of how we communicate and how we do it effectively. We want to be intellectually attuned to different cultures. Why is this important? It's important because we want to be astute in understanding the ways in which we can approach appropriate communication and diversity with other individuals. You know, cultural liter literacy is extremely important for both the individuals and to our, our entire society, the society that we live in. You know, as individuals, when we are culturally literate, it helps us to successfully interact with individuals from a variety of backgrounds, including um, First Nations, different ethnic background, backgrounds. What about our individual communities, small town living, large city living? What about homeschooling? Many students have been homeschooled and they are introduced to the world once they go to public school, public universities, et cetera. We need to learn how to understand and to take ownership to our cultural beliefs and our practices and to understand other practices that may be normal for you and I, but for someone else, absolutely our lives might be different. We want to understand the context of the many cultural differences. And that's what we're going to invest, investigate during this particular semester. Cultural literacy also helps us to develop and really associate skills in communicating and more importantly, self-reflection. So let's take a look. Let's look at some of our research that has really caused us to look at um, how we think about things differently. Throughout this course, you'll hear me use a term called the four ways of thinking. That means investigating our values and how we think about our values. And what about our past and our future values? How do we interpret our future and, and incorporate new ways of thinking? Additionally, how do we incorporate new systems of thinking? We're gonna also take a look at that as far as from a cultural viewpoint of diversity and acceptance. And finally, systematic ways of thinking about new theories, approaches, et cetera. So I hope you're all geared up to move forward. I certainly am. So let's move on to our class and to our discussion.